Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for the next episode of our Battle Brothers Legends Legendary Difficulty playthrough as the Northern Raiders, as the mighty, wildly aggravated Northern Core of experienced Raiders or the Wankers. Anyway, last time when we left off, we finally got into it. I feel really back into Battle Brothers now, which is really good. I was a little bit concerned that I wasn't going to enjoy it anymore. But I'm already super stoked and excited to record this season and get involved with everyone in the North once again and see all your subscriber character submissions. It should be very interesting. Hopefully not all of you die. We had a surprisingly good first episode where nobody has died yet, but we are at the limit now at 6. And to increase this in Legends, we need to get our Renown up to 500. And currently it's at 146. Now... We have an ambition where we need to complete eight contracts anyway, so I think this is going to go in tandem with getting this to 500. But that's going to be sort of the aim for this episode. And obviously do a bit of raiding and choose all the evil choices and all the events on the way. Now, there is a very easy contract that I'm going to quickly take here. It is just a caravan con uh, contract. It is literally up here. Now, like I said in the last episode, the good thing about the Legends mod is you still get experience from doing caravan contracts and fine location contracts, so it's not like it feels like a waste of experience. Additionally, you can also set up the camp whilst you're on the trading caravan, which is actually very handy. Although I don't really need to do much right now, because I don't think anyone's really injured, and there's nothing massive to upgrade. I don't need more, I don't need two people there, that's what I'll say. There's nothing that really is worth salvaging either, or crafting, there's no point patrolling. So, I think I can pull out one of you two. I guess I'll take out Wayne, and I'll put Wayne here instead. No, not you, you silly Billy. You go in the salvage tent. Oh, it doesn't really matter, actually. It doesn't actually matter. You go there. That'll do. Right. Camp, and then the camp can go on whilst we're in the train caravan, and that can just crack on whilst we get to... What was it? Osputes? Once again, I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing that correctly or not. Wow, there's a lot of angry, angry peasants out here, isn't there? All from Neuthorn. I mean, the haters there. Can you imagine if I just started attacking the peasants whilst I was just, like, on the road? And the trading caravan was like, what are you guys doing? It's like, we are evil, don't you know? We are just killing everyone because we want to. Well, nothing really happened there, but we got 47 experience to pull out. Let's get rid of that. We've got loads of fresh meat, like a ridiculous amount of fresh meat, to the point that I could probably actually sell some of it. Like, we could probably actually sell the bonus food. Wayne leveled up on the plus side, so that is a benefit indeed. Man, this is, this is bonkers. This is just silly, honestly. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, plus two is not massive, but I guess it'll get you over 70, so why not? Let's have a quick look at your first perk. I mean... Pathfinder would be really handy. Vision would be really good, but crossbows only have a range of six tiles anyway, so that's not going to matter. Crippling would be good. Bags and belts would also be quite handy. I mean, I guess I'll just go Pathfinder. Shoot the crossbow more, basically. I think that'll do. Right, I think I'll wait until it gets to daytime, and then we'll get into the town of Orsput and see what's cracking around here. And also maybe sell the meat, because, like I say, we've got such a... We've got 284 provisions. We've got three weeks of food. It's going to go out of date before I know it. All this is going out of date. Sell, 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 sell. Wow, we are just meat traders. This is a very bizarre turn of events, let me tell you. This is not what I was expecting in our playthrough. Going from being like the angriest wild northerners to just, yeah, we're just meat tradesmen. Yeah, don't think, don't think much of it. Don't think much of it. <laughs> I don't think there's much to really buy here. I suppose I could actually finally buy a decent shield, so I will do that. There are drums. That's very cool. Uh, Caspian, since you're going to be a sword and shield build, you might as well take on the first shield push. You've got more fatigue than everyone else, so that makes sense. Uh, I should probably deal with everyone else having buckles for the time being, but I think we're slowly, we're slowly getting there. We're slowly growing. What's the contract here? It's another caravan contract. Where's it going? Salzbruch. Is that the one around the corner? Yes, we'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Let's get around that mountain very quickly. Also, how much do we cost on, like, a... Okay, 155. That's not terrible. And it's actually quite manageable for the time being. Especially, I'm just literally paving our way by selling meat. All right, finally here. 47 experience I will take. No level ups, although we are getting pretty close for some people. Hildar has not seen action at all. Let me see what I can do about selling all this meat once again. My god, I am just making a quick buck. It's not even that much at this point, is it? Well, I say that. I think I've made more money from selling the meat that we found than actually for the contract. That's... 
<sighs> that's that's pretty funny. It's it's pretty funny. Let's let's be honest here. Ooh, some of this isn't bad, but I don't want to stay under a grand too much. What's this? Okay, this is a li this is a little bit of a different thing. Drafty shack around the region of Ridland. I think this is gonna be a lot of walking around until we actually see some bloody combat. Well, Romba well, Ridland is there. So let's quickly go and do this. If I could find like a caravan to go and like destroy, or like a little group of brigands out there to go and kick around a bit, then I definitely will do so. Okay, that wasn't too hard. But there are a few geists here. Now, geists early game can be quite terrifying, especially though we haven't got what we got. Well, he's got 82 resolve, he should be okay, and you should be kind of okay against like panic against ghosts. Everyone else is sort of sitting around the 40 50 area. Am I willing to risk it? I think I am. Let's go see what's in there. Also, how many? Nine. Okay, they are zomb zombies. They are weeder gangers, I suppose. And the guys have to get a little bit closer until so we see the white in those ghost eyes. Hopefully, you know, not enough to kill us, but we'll see, because, I mean, I don't actually know how weeder gangers are in the, uh, in the Legends mod. I can't actually remember, it's been so long. Catch that one with your face. And then, yeah, just hold off. Oh, it's nice to have ranged characters again. Oh, a staff. I know we do have a staff character in the roster. I mean, it's probably a little bit down the road, but hey, let's see what we can do here. Almost one. Almost one. I think it'd be a waste to fire it there, because he's basically dead, so let's do some damage there. Hopefully the guys take a while to get here, so we can deal with the weirder gangers. We don't really have many figures that we finally stopped using the cleavers, and now we've got people we need to decapitate. Oh, it would, it would help to decapitate them anyway, but... It's fine. Doesn't sound like it's fine, does it? <laughs> okay, well, the guys haven't moved, which is great. Who's the injured one? Not anymore. You're just straight up dead. Well, I say I say that. I say that. Uh, let's hold off for a second. Let's see what we do. God, you still haven't reached us. That's, uh, that's quite surprising. I know they're slow because they're zombies or weeder gangers, but... Come on now. All right, this is the this is the true test. Good stun. Tell you what. Come on, get him. Get the geist. Come on, you can do it. Okay, maybe not quite. Maybe not quite. Where are we at with? That's awkward. So is that, actually. Ha. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, that's the fastest. I've never seen a weird guy get up so quickly in my life. In his case, he's unlife. Right, well, that's two weeder gangers. Sorry, geists down for the counts. Kachow, now get back. Not bad. Decapitation. That's what we're here for. So what did I do? Baffle. So this is Sh Buckler Bash. So it builds at 20 fatigue, does 5 to 10 hit points, and it has a 100% chance to baffle on a hit. And baffling does actually make their damage less, from what I recall from reading all the logs of the... Be careful with that. Poke someone's eye out with that stick. Funny that he was biting when he has a mace in his hand. Not that I'm questioning how he fights, but I'm just saying. Oh no, Fenrir, don't run. It's okay, it's just a single ghost. He says. Good shot. Oh god. Okay. You've got this, Barrow. Unless you just get ghost touched and died instantly. Or stunned. That too. Alright, well. Could be... God, they really do raise the dead fast around here, don't they? Good boy. Great job. Is that a two weapon? I don't think it is. I actually don't think it is. Oh, you're knackered, mate. Absolutely cream crackered. Doesn't help of the, uh, the terrain that we're working with here. Damn it. Oh, he's actually going around for the... All right. I'm in. I'm into it. I'm into it. 68. Nice. Out of ammo. I haven't given you a melee weapon because I haven't really got to that point yet. 5% is not ideal. God, you're not... Good sir, please die. 
Again. Should I say. Perish. I mean... Fisticuffs? You want to do some fisticuffs? Oh, the dog went the wrong way. Wow. Ooh, God, it, that's got reap. I mean, it makes sense. It is a big old scythe. I do like it when we punch stuff to death. It's very cool. I am looking forward to trying out the old unarmed stuff. I mean, chance of five, roll the seven. You did almost kill it. Right then. Now it's the everyone surround the guys and hope for the best. Oh, wait, they're going to resurrect anyway. Oh, quite a few, actually. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Uh, come down. Hold that fort. Hold that fort. Hold that fort. 5%. Not for you, buddy boy. 6%. That's <laughs> a 95% chance. Okay, just, sur just surround. Just surround it. Just surround it. You can do it. Eventually, eventually it'll happen. Just gotta bide our time. Come on, someone do it. Someone can do it. Come on. Anyone. Come. <laughs> Dog? Good boy. Look at that. Okay, well, nothing too crazy. I mean, I got some spoons, so I can sell those, and that's actually not a bad cap to have, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Not a bad haul. Let's get back to Salisbrook. I mean, we didn't say destroy it, just find it. But I just did them a favor, I guess, really. All right, so there's not much going around on around here. And uh, I'm feeling kind of raidy. So I think I'm going to go back up this way and see if there's any contracts on the up and up. And if not, I think I'm going to do a bit of pillaging because that's just sort of the thing we do now. Honestly, it's, it's going to take a bit of getting used to because I'm just like, oh, that's a nice caravan. Now it's like, that's a nice caravan. It'd be a shame if someone attacked it with unbridled rage. Although, oh, they're actually just coming straight out. Usually it'd be like, we'll wait. Okay, because it's still waiting, it would have been fine. Hey, Lamel. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. That could be bad. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Although they're. Standing not so still. This guy's stuff. That guy's stuff looks good. It's alright, you'll get better. I assume. There you go. God, that did not do as much damage as I thought it would, honestly. You guys stay there for the time being. I think we've got this. He's going to come in, but that's fine. Oh, no shields either, is it? You are playing a dangerous game, my son. You didn't take a lot of damage, my son. Okay, these guys are a little bit more kitted out than I was expecting. It's fine. Don't worry. It's all under control. This is where legendary difficulty finally kicks in and goes, surprise. It's beyond heart. It's beyond this difficulty the entire time. We will just be nice for a bit. I'd be like, oh no. I'm in danger. Oh god. Technically, we are going to be using dual wisps because we don't have shields, so we've got to be careful in that regard. Stand here, shoot this guy. Or don't. That's cool. Right, you're stunned. Great. 78. Damn, man. Alright, you hit him in the head. That's actually going to save us a bit of time. Your fatigue drops through the floor like crazy. We're going to have to look into that. And he's only warmed up. Oh god. To be fair, their chances aren't super duper high. It doesn't make me feel great shot them in the head. I still don't know if that ability actually, or quirk, I suppose, or trait, works out that well. Right, see you later. Good job. Did you just hit him in the head twice? I think you did. Yeah, you hit him in the head, and then, yeah, you hit him in the head. Great. All right, turn that around quickly. Thank Christ for that. Oh, thank Davkul all the Elder Gods for that, should I say. Barrow. I know you're expendable, but you are still useful. Kind of. I mean, I could let him die and get an actual character in. That's That would probably be the better idea. See if he survives. 
if he's if he dies, he dies. The dog might go save him. The dog saved him. You know who to blame, everyone. Well, that was actually pretty handy. And what's that? Jesus. We are hitting like the mother load with all this raiding. What's that? The militia glaive. It's a spit one handed spear. Okay, well, I'm gonna take these two. And once again, more meat to sell. Well, with that caravan, it's like the caravans are coming out of the wazoo around here. So whilst marching down the road, you find a man with a broken cart by the side of the path. Did you come to set me things? If so, you ain't kill me. Just take what you want. Well, let's take everything from the cart. Thank you very much. I'll be taking all your stuff. You order the men to search the cart and take what you can. Ragnar draws his sword and looks ready to slay the donkey. The animal looking stupidly at its own mortality in a reflection of the blade. The merchant cries out and you hold your hand out, staying the execution. Leave the draft animal where it stands. The trader offers meager thanks as a line of your men walks behind him, his very goods in their hands. Yeah, this feels good. It feels good to be bad sometimes. Well, I'll take the food and I'll take the medical supplies, even though I think we've got way more than it is. And now we're back to being cruel. There we go. You love to see it. All right, well, there's nothing here, so I guess I'm going to go back up north a bit and pester those false northerners. Okay, almost two weeks in. I think it's time to get ballsy and take a two-score contract already. It should be kind of interesting, and I guess we'll... Oh, shit. <laughs> let's uh, let's maybe avoid these guys. Nothing to see here, gentlemen. I'm just biding my own time until I can murder you all. In combat, and you'll be facing me with a weapon. I won't be killing you in your sleep. I'm not that sort of bandit. We're barbarians. Northern barbarians. We have style. Anyway, let's see what's here. Oh, boy. Some folk. This could be actually... This could be brutal. This is the big thing I'm worried about as well. Six people, 12 days. Probably got about 60-ish days until the first late game crisis starts popping off. I don't know where we're going to be in 60 days. Hopefully somewhere good. Hopefully not dead. Let's see what happens with this thing. N. Ooh. I don't know if we've got any range. So three of my dogs. You're going you're gonna to make me call dogs, are you? It's kind of mean, but all right. Three of my slingers. Okay. Oh, Barrow, does that make you feel... I thought you were like a good monk, but... Gets, watching a dog getting shot by a crossbow makes you feel good, does it? You know, maybe us northern raiders have uh, rubbed off on you in a bit of a weird way after all. Who knows? Well, no point wasting time or energy. What are we at? 44. 44? Well, you hit shield. That's summit. Watch out for them rocks, though. They can be dangerous. We know this firsthand from other series. Ow. See? Bonk. Yep. Careful now. Fugs are harder than fugs in the original vanilla, because obviously you've got the rabble, who are effectively the fugs of legends. So the actual fugs are a bit stronger than the average bear. Not bear, but... Damn. That's unfortunate. What's that chance? It's like a 7% chance. 5% chance. It can happen. You've seen it happen here many a times, as have I. Okay, you're running. Fine. Damn. Two for two? It's a 10% chance. I don't think it's happening. Ooh, you're going for someone different now, are you? Right in the... We're hitting people in the face a lot. I'm all here for it. Oh, baffled. Well, you know what that means. I know something that isn't baffled, and that's Fenrir. Quit it with the rocks, man. Baffle this. Ah, oh, you did, damn it. I need to get some armor for Fenrir. I, I want him to be a mainstay hound, I think. And Caspian would probably agree with me. Probably. Look, bro, just go down. Thank you. Don't want to... Okay. We are still missing a fair amount. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, it's less fine. Okay, it was a joke. Stop missing. Oh, God. So, folks have Overwhelm. That's also a new thing for legend for Legendary difficulty. I don't think it's actually part of Legends on standard difficulties in Legends. I think it is just for legendary difficulty, because in legendary difficulty, 
a lot of enemy types get new abilities, and in this case, the thugs get overwhelmed. Doesn't help stop them from getting shot by arrows, though, does it? Kaplow! Oh, man, I even did the noise. Die, please. There you go. Put your back into it. Oh, ouch. All right, you're gone. You're basically on the way. Barrow, buddy. I mean, if you die, I gain a slot to put someone else in, so I don't really mind. But you do have a really good resolve. But we don't really have any monk wannabes, which is a shame, I guess. But that you're technically set up to die at some point. Or I'm just going to retire you just so I can get someone else in. All right, we're missing a lot now. Come on, ref. There we go. Right, they're gone with, so don't worry about that. Slam? Slam. As Pendulum once said. I need to get me some more Northern Hounds, evidently. I think the only issue is, I think they probably all live in the Northern settlements, which currently hate us quite a lot. As you could imagine. 12%. Not risking it. See ya. How close you gotta be? Not too great on that regards. Damn, man. Alright, slight. Shouldn't be an issue now. And they're running. Perfect. Perfection. Oh, you're too knackered. That's fine. Let's seal the deal, shall we? Couldn't take long now. 91% miss. I can't tell what killed him, but something definitely killed him. And that's good enough for me. Okay, so... Gamberson, great. Cloth rolls, I will definitely sell. Some food that isn't going to go out of date in one day. Great. Another shield that I can give to Ragnar while I, I don't have a two-handed weapon for him. Because that is the aim for his character, but I just don't have one yet. Some knives to give to people. Some crowns. Yeah, alright. I'll take it. And hopefully that gives us a bit of a boost in our renown. Because it's been slow running. What are we on? 231. What does this do for us? Slash, where's that group gone? Okay, they're not here. Great. What are we on? Give me the number. 256. Okay. Whoa, we're halfway there. Great stuff. What's this? Caravan to Gold Wall. Three days to the south. Where's that? Oh, wow. It's like all the way down here. Mm, probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. I think I'll just continue to cause problems for a little bit at least. Okay, so I got back to Ors Bet or Ors Butes or Ors Beats or whatever I've been calling it. I think it's Ors Butes, but hey. What am I like? Anyway, I have finally seen our first four skull contract, and wow, does it sound like. I mean, it's just going to find some brigands to kill. But it's 1,500 crowns, and I mean, even if we lose one or two people, 1,500 crowns on day 13 is massive. I think I'm going to take it. I actually genuinely... Go on, where is it? How many of them are they, and am I going to die? And can I bring them into another group? Can I cheat? <laughs> Technically cheat. Yeah, we're Northern Raiders. We're sort of vulnerable. Where have they gone? Ah, uh, they're in a swamp. Oh god, there's some goblin raiders there. So a few poachers, war dogs, and loads of rabble. I'm gonna wait till nighttime. Well, there's a lot of... I was gonna say naked people, but also dogs. Uh, Please don't demonetize me. Come on now. At least she's got a hacksaw in front, I guess. Centered. To an extent. That zoomed out weird. Well, that was a 35% chance, and they're dead. Come on, Barrow, you can do it. Or you can't. One or the other, I guess. Off you go, Fenrir. I'm not even going to dick around. Fenrir, get in there. Eat them alive. Please, eat them alive. Hello. Right. Hildar, get up there, but I don't expect anything crazy since it is nighttime. 22. Yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, honestly, with it just being rabble, we might be, we might be all right. <laughs> the game might have high boulders a bit too much for this. I was saying that. Might have spoke too soon there. He's fine. He's less fine. Watch it without staff. You know, Barrow has lived a lot longer than I was expecting him to. Hey, 
to him. Well, that's another one. Ooh, not quite. All right, melee time. I mean, you do technically have a triple skill in melee. I'm just saying. That'll work, though. Okay, this isn't really the... For, for skull contract I was expecting. Well, sometimes it works in both ways. Sometimes the game screws us over, sometimes we screw over the game. And I'll take all the chances I can get on that in this playthrough. Careful. Sure, get a melee kill. Why not? How are you hitting so much at night time? Silent Arrow indeed. Okay. We got dead. Nice try, buddy. <sighs> that sounded painful. Honestly, not that the dog's carrying us, but I think Fenrir has done so... I don't know. It's a shame. I don't think Legends holds, like, the kills for the hounds, but I kind of wish it does. Hopefully, the hopefully Caspian's counting. Where are we at? Yeah, we're good. Like, okay, you're kind of flagging a bit. That was a hell of a scream. I wonder who recorded that for the Legends mod. Jesus. Oh, it was just a random sound bite, but still. Please don't kill my dog. Please don't kill my dog. Let him kill you. Eh, alright, fine. Go save the hound. <laughs> this is just silly. Go save the hound. Or let the hound save itself. Ow, my face. Honestly, I'm giving them all the chance in the world to attack Barrow. But they just can't do it. They're genuinely incapable of killing this man. Okay, we're also genuinely incapable of killing them. Awkward. Okay, Barrow got one in. Maybe I do just retire him, just so I can get someone else in instead, you know? Feels like he's not gonna die of this, right? Touch wood. Touch wood. A lot of wood. Because, man, I'm just asking to get killed now. Come on now. Well, that's probably the easiest money we've made in this game so far. Four skulls? Nah. This game should not be giving me the ego, but it's giving me. This is definitely legendary difficulty as well. I just want to reiterate that. I did double check my uh, my backup save. It definitely says legendary difficulty on it. I'm pretty surprised so far. It's going pretty well. Where's this going from? I won't attack that one. Not yet. Wow. We have so much money. I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit at a loss, to be honest. I am pleasantly surprised that this is working out like this. At least they'll give us a chance and I'll leg up. I don't really need any of that stuff whatsoever, so let's just get over that. We've got over 3,000 crowns. I mean, I do need some tools. Let me buy some tools. Food is kind of fine. Great. Can I buy... Do I need to buy anything else? Is there any two-handed axes or hammers? No, I need to keep an eye out for two-handed hammer. For our Ragnar wants a new toy. No, there's nothing there. All right, leave it for now. What did that do for our resolve? Sorry. Renown. Almost 300. Okay. I might just Blitzkrieg for a few contracts just to get to 500 before the end of this episode so I can hire some more people. Might just do that very quickly. Well, another day, another caravan to plunder. I'm not expecting this to be that. Oh, there's actually quite a few of them. I was kind of like, well, Barrow can actually seems to be... Wow. Wow. He seems to be pretty good now. He could probably handle himself. Also, am I trying to just get him killed? Who really knows? Am I just trying to find gaps? Make it make room for someone else? I couldn't say. <laughs> I could say. Fire. Jesus. This is wild, honestly. Do not know what's going on here. Would have been a much longer live stream if we start if we did the Northern Raid. Jesus. Alright, that one I didn't even mean to happen. Not like I was planning on to get hit in the head, but Wow. One hit and Barrow's actually almost on the way out now. Shit. Okay. 
let me just backtrack everything that I just said very quickly. It's evidently, it is just trying to be nice to me just to, before it sinks in the dagger into my spinal column. Uh, saying that, Barra's still got it in him. He has still got it in him. 18%. He hit shield. He hit shield. Lucky son of a gun. All right, you're out. You're on the way out. Let's just make sure you are. There was another guy. There we go. Oh, there. Oh, there he is. Right. Okay. In that case, get up there. He's well hidden, apparently. Still kicking it. The monk is still kicking it to this day. What a champ. Wow. I could have never have spoken too soon in my entire life. Was that... Was that Barrow's head? That was Barrow's head, yes. God damn. Well, I actually didn't mean for him to die at that point. I thought he was actually just going to tank that entire thing. But, uh... There you go. Guess it's time to go hire someone else. You might notice in my tone of voice that I'm not actually that broken up about it. Because at the end of the day, he was technically a bit of a hostage who then got a bit of Stockholm Syndrome and started enjoying being around the wankers. He forgot one thing. He wasn't really a Norman Raider, was he? Oh well, grab the stuff off his body. We don't have time to spare. Let's go find a much meatier and wankery person to hire. Okie doke, so we're tuning back in about five or six in-game days later after I've just done a bit of a run around the map a bit, just to get a few contracts under our belts. Haven't really missed that much, to be quite honest. It's just been a lot of delivering from A to B and looking at this caravan C and so forth. We still oddly still have around the same amount of money, which is pretty crazy. We are almost at 500 at 447, so I think this contract and fighting these guys will hopefully tip us into the balance of 500. Also, that eight contracts ambition is now done, and obviously I picked the raid trade caravan ambition. Why the hell wouldn't I? We're the Northern Raiders, of course. We are the wankers. We have to live up to that name. And then, hopefully, this goes up to like nine. I'm not sure what number it goes up to. I can't remember. So we can at least get another four people in for this episode. So let's go destroy these guys. Hopefully, no guarantees there. And then let's get this handed in, and then let's get some more brothers and possibly sisters. Let's go. Okay, these are all thugs, and bear in mind that thugs aren't the low level that they are. I think I've mentioned this a few times. They're not the low level that they are in vanilla, so we gotta be a little bit cautious here. Just a little bit, and there is nine of them. And they've got flails I don't recall, so I don't know what they do per se, but I guess we're about to find out. One way or another, they're gonna hit us. They're gonna hit us, hit us, hit us. But you know what? Just bring him out now. Just bring him out now. Good start. Scare him a little bit. You cover Wayne, please. Can you get up here? Nice smack to the ribs there. It's fine. There's only a 46% chance. That's what I'm talking about. So they are definitely legends based. I'm not sure what they actually do in terms of their like attack pattern. Oh, you just... Wow. Oh, they're too ranged. That's not what I expected. But, okay, manageable. Oh, there's another guy hiding in the bushes, was he? He aimed for the bushes, and he did it well. Damn. Okay, we're a little bit on the surrounded side. Not ideal. Oh, whoa. That was a, that was a bad miss. Eep. Is all I will say. Eep. 55, 45. He's almost dead, though. This is the time to use adrenaline. Okay, he's running. He's You hit him in the head as well. Damn. Taking no prisoners whatsoever today is Ragnar. Okay, can you kill the dog? I know it's mean, but we've got to do it. We've got to do it. I'm sorry I'm making you. I'm not that sorry. God, stop hitting him in the head from miles away, please. Oh, you stuck in. All right, then. Damn. Damn and blast. This is probably actually the most rough fight we've had so far, actually. 44. 
I was expecting more of them to run after that, but they did not. They've actually got some balls on them. Guess we better remove them. Ah, oh, look at Johnny Riposte over here. Ow. Aww. You make me sad. Okay, Caspian, don't die, please. Hold that fork, because he's just riposte. God, he's not going for Fenrir, who's right there, by the way. Okay. Getting a C. Start breaking his shield. Ah, oh, mates. Better. Don't do it. Save your fatigue. Also, Yonos stuck in with Fenrir, so you can't go anywhere without hitting him instead. But do me a favor, don't hit Fenrir. Oh, Hillidor. Oh, run, in, run, in, run on home, boy. Ooh, dangerous. Ah, yeah. I suppose I should have saw that coming. Damn. See ya. No shield for you. Can you get him? You might be able to get him. Also, you are a bit injured, so I don't mind if you don't get him. It's fine. How... You scumbag. You scumbag. Well, that's not on. He's not injured enough, though. Right, well, everybody run. Okay, he's not dead. You know what? Just to save Fenrir, because I don't want him to die. Fine, leave here. Just don't kill my hound. We'll find him again, and we'll make him pay for it. This isn't bad. I'll take 141 crowns as well. Uh, extra hats, proper shields. Yeah, all right. I'm into it. I am into it. Now, where are we at? I didn't really go up that much. Right, let's see what going back to... Oh, my God, are you kidding me? How about no? Stay away from me and my family. Don't talk to my sons again. What are we on? What are we on? What are we on? What are we on? 500? Ah, 482. Okay, oh, it's, surely it's just like one contract now. To, to victory, to glory. One more contract. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Okay, apparently all spewers sent us on a bit of a longer trek than I thought. Hmm. You get to live for one more day, but when I come back around, you are so dead. Yeah, this is not a lot of crowns, but it's all for the renown. Although at this point, honestly, I don't know if this is actually going to tip us over the 500 scale. If I see like a random group out here to fight, I'm just going to fight them. Just to give us that little, little bit of extra renown. This man. It's rough to get into 500 Renown in Legends, I tell you. Alright, so finally, finally, we're over 500. It only took till day 24, which is pretty wild when you think about it. And we're only just over 500. But now we have 7 out of 8 people. So let me introduce you to the next two characters. Obviously, we'll do the backstories a bit later on in this episode, because I do want to hire at least one more person by the end. At least getting to the next level up of the roster is only 750, so it's not as big of a jump. So that shouldn't be too bad. But I'd like to introduce you to Bertolt the Butcher. Now, obviously, you want to be a duelist down the road. Most of the perks kind of work for that. Your initiative is absolutely bonkers, by the way. And you're dexterous, so you do get a good start with melee skills. So there is a chance of you getting to 89 melee skill, maybe. But your initiative is disgusting. Your melee defense, on the other hand, isn't fantastic. But I hope it works its way out on the way up to level 11. If you survive for that long. And then we also have Krozak Rockhauler who is a huge, drunk, aggressive man with a sling, who's also a very, very cruel person. Um, now, even though he's only got 41 range skill, I'm hoping the event pops off where we knock the drunkard out of him, because this then jumps up to 51, and then we're playing with fire a little bit more as we level him up, and we've got a lot of sling skills to work with here, so I think he'll slowly power level his ranged as soon as we whip the drunk out of him. Although, whilst he's drunk, he does more damage, so there is also that. And his melee defense is 
I don't know why. I just don't know why. It's rolling really, really weirdly in Legends, but I guess that's Battle Brothers, baby. Or Battle Brothers Legends, baby. Anyway, with our seven, let's go do our first contract as a bigger group. And then I think I'm going to try and find number eight and maybe raid a caravan or two to end this episode with and also do the backstories for people. That'd be nice. Okay, slightly outnumbered, but never outmatched, allegedly. I guess we'll see about that. Can you come up a little bit? Yeah, your ass is hanging out slightly for this fight. Okay, well, if we don't hit him again, he might just bleed out, which is fine. All that. Wayne all clear up instead. Okay. More even split. Where are you going? Where are you all going? Where are you all going? Johnny Shield's a lot over here. That's not his name, by the way. Can you go there and do that? Can you two keep this area busy? I think you might be able to. Especially when he goes a wonky way. By the looks of things. Well, I guess in we in we go. I'll use adrenaline this time, but maybe not next time. Damn. Silent arrow lighting them up. There is a rock there, be careful. Mm, don't use adrenaline this time. Maybe next time. Gotta bit him in the face again. You look buying people in the face, don't you? Rock? Unfortunately, neither were kind of cl very close. Mm, small smack to the head, but you're okay. Try doing a two-range attack again, I dare you. Eh, that's problematic. God, that's... That was a four-roll. Oh, man, you nonce. Okay. Oh, mate. That's a weird move. Like, thanks for playing. Uh, ooh, I guess get the knife out. Didn't expect anything to happen. No, he's baffled. Uh, it could be worse. He could be dead. Like that guy. Right. Isn't it weird how thugs are difficult? Strange. Strange world to live in. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh, I thought that was going to be the first decapitation for you, but not quite. Alright. Caspian, just speak shield up, buddy. You're okay here for now. For now. Don't steal Bertolt's kill. He just got here. Okay, Krozak, you are baffled, so I'm not sure what rock you can... 6%. Eesh. Well, everyone loves a trier. Everybody loves a trier. Damn that pot in particular. Okay, back to... I guess we're not hitting anything today. I didn't mean it. Game. Thank you. Keep your shield up, please. We will come and give you an hand in a sec. Hmm. Didn't say anything about letting him get away. Ben Rear agrees. Oh my god, he definitely does. Right. How far can you get and still throw? It could have been worse. But yeah, well, that's an 18% chance. Come on now. Don't, don't beat around. Nice. Well, things can only get better. Shut up. Don't die. This guy. He's not giving up. Not even slightly. He doesn't know the meaning of giving up. Do you? Come on, surely you do. Surely he's knackered. He's pretty knackered. He's still not dead. Oh, Caspian got his revenge. Take that. Straight to the bank. Alright, well, I'll take that stuff. Some better equipment, for sure, but man, 
That was quite close, but 400 crowns richer, which I do need to get back after hiring two people. Let's get this handed in, let's find our numero eight and go raid some supply caravans and then learn a bit about our new brothers in arms. Okay, so we're tuning in a few days later. I'm still looking for my eighth man and we are actually going up in Renown quite a bit. So we might actually be able to get our ninth and 10th man, maybe the start of the next episode. But while on the march, we came across a line of stopped wagons. You realize the wagons are cages with each serving a prison to a wild animal, toying the line of carts you can face. A variety of beasts. A haunched and mewling black cat launches its man-killer claws through the bars, jumping away you back into another cage, which violently rattles the bear's roaring. Thankfully, its powerful paws are too fat to fit between the bars. Another cage sizzles, the hissing of snakes. A man leans back from behind one of the wagons. He's got a wild look on his face, as though you just caught him getting one off the wrist. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? We inform the stranger that you are the captain of the wankers. Rangveld is the name. The man straightens up. Oh, sell swords then. No, raiders, mate. And I'll take all your stuff if you're not careful. And I thought my luck had up and run off me. Look, I've got a problem that my hired hands refuse to help with. They didn't care when they didn't know better. The damn clerk fell off the wagon and then they wouldn't shut up about how I wasn't paying them enough to transport such goods. But what do you need help with? The animal tamer leads you to a carriage, you immediately see why his hired hand quits. A frenzied and mercurial feral human is sitting inside the cage. Raw wrists bleed against shackles, signs of attempt escapes. Half starved, the wild human gnaws on sticks, poking out from a tumbleweed of hair. Seeing the sad sight, you grab the stranger and slam him against the wagon. Does that look like an animal? Like, does that look like an animal to you? The animal tamer grins, ivory for teeth, he explains himself. City folk have gone wind of you, uncivilized. You're literally talking to civilized hum uncivilized humans, mate. We live in tribes, and you're trying to have a pop with us. You've got one of our men in cages. I'm sending a man in. Caspian Belmont is the one tasked with cleaning out the wildlings' corpse featuring terrarium. He rolls up his sleeves and approaches the cage with both hands. Whoa, easy now. Easy, I'm on your side. The wildling gets up off the dead body and goes to the other side of its habitat. The cell sword easily grabs the boot of the corpse and grabs it towards the bars. It slips through with sickening ease already clumped in the fashion of discarding wet cloth. Guts and limbs dribble off the edge of the wagon's platform, the animal tamer cheers. Oh, thanks so much. You made it look so easy, too. Caspian stares at a dead body with the realization that could have easily been their end. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, Caspian got two initiative and one resolve, but I wish we could have, like, taken this guy for ourselves. You know, having the Northern Raider background, you would have thought that we could have taken one of our fellow wild men with us, but oh well. Anyway, we're on a trading caravan currently. We are going to another city. The hires around here have kind of dried up. There isn't really one too higher. And due to the specifics of everyone's characters and legends, perks being kind of dynamic when I'm trying out characters, they're not really fitting the mold of the people on the list. So I'm finding it quite difficult to get people exactly down to a T. So I would probably say as a bit of a caveat for anyone who's... Uh, submitted a character for the series, they're not going to be exactly perfect to what you've asked. I'll get them as close as I can. Evening, sirs, with a fine day. No, no, give me the ring. I don't even care what you're saying. Jeweled ring, hand it over. That is a quick piece, stranger, but I do not hear the sound of a sword. Instead, with a sudden push, you've knocked the man to the ground. He clutches his walking stick at the end of its point upwards as though you might impale yourself on the rounded tip. You kick his hand out of the way and step on his wrist, bending down to take the ring. Put steel through me art while you're at it, you bastard. You let off the man and hand him his stick, even help him to his feet. No hard feelings, old man. That's just the way we roll. Thanks for the ring. Such is life. See you later. Yeah, he's on the road by himself. He's going to die eventually. Finally, we are at our eight people. And weirdly, we also got attacked randomly by like two or three southern slingers and like a nomad archer so we absolutely destroyed them because we got them in melee. It was so fast, it was like a... It was like a click, but it didn't mean that we got actually already got a southern nomad slaying and a slightly better bow for the silent arrow. We are all a little bit biffed up, but we now also have Knight Rider. Now, bear with me because you've only got 41 melee skill for the time being, but you do have three stars in it and you're also a bit of a brute. Now, obviously, you want to be a two-hander person as well, so you've got a decent, okay melee defense start with a star in it, obviously, without a shield. But I think this can work out because by the end it should be between 76 and 86, which isn't too bad. Plus Brute should make a bit of a difference. I think I will have to go two-handed axe though because axes are your only choice of weapons. There's no mace. I don't think. I can't see a mace. No. So it looks like we're going axe mastery for you, Knight Rider. 
but we finally have our first eight. And we're not super far off leveling up again for our renown. So 750, what are we on now? 575. So I think what I'm going to do is there's a contract to take a caravan up to Oberberg. So I think I'm going to do that here. I think I will then do our character backstories and then maybe raid like a caravan to sort of seal off the day as our first group of eight. Let's get up there already. But on the way, whilst we're in the caravan, Heraldus comes to you with a report of your food stocks. He explains that there's not much to go around. What bread is on hand could be better used to build a house or slay a man. Ooh, slaying a man with a piece of bread. All right, Jean Valjean. Most of the fruit is soft to the touch. I know that's the way he actually did, don't worry. Covered in what appears to be grey fur. All that's left of the wise has been thrown into a great stew, which the men have aptly named Crotch Broth. To be frank, it isn't looking good. However, by some fortuitous coincidence, a small farm stands in the distance. Their brother doesn't come right out and say it, but it gently is suggested that maybe the country, country, company could go raid it. I mean, it's literally in our name, mate. Go raid it. You he head off towards the farm. A few farmhands straighten up in the field, straight staring at you as you approach and exchanging glances with one another. A worker bailing hail plants his pitchfork in the ground and tents his hands over it. They all watch you with nervous curiosity as you cross the plains. Your men not all trying to hide their want of the passing crops. When you near the homestead, a woman comes out to meet you. She wipes her brow and asks what it is that you want. A few children come out of a nearby home and stand on the porch. They eye you tentatively behind the legs of an older man, possibly the woman's father. Well, I mean, I don't want to kill children. Not yet, anyway. Take everything. The food here is plentiful. You turn around to your men and tell them to take everything they can. Gasping, the woman steps back and looks about ready to scream. You grab her, bring a string of cries from the children. A few farmhands grab sickles and pitchforks in turn. You tell to order the rest of the farmhands to put their weapons on the ground. It's not really a noble fight anyway. Not really. She obeys and the farmhands do as they told, albeit somewhat reluctantly. You hold the woman while your men take what they can. When they're pillaged as much as they can carry, you let her go and order your men to move out. Thanks for the food, see you later. Next time I will kill them. I was feeling merciful today because I finally have my first eight. Man, what are we? Are we still cruel? Is there anything lower than cruel? Like true dastard or absolutely awful human beings? I'm here for it. I'm waiting. We basically got here without narrowing ish nary an issue other than, you know, raiding a bomb. But you know what? It got us loads of food. I'm pretty happy with that. Now that we're here. I think it's time to gather around a campfire and see the backstories of our new brothers. Let's get camping. I feel like I need to set everyone up to camp and then we'll jump in. During camp, as the campfire laps at the brothers' knees as everyone huddles in for a cold of unusual night, you are met with the generally apathetic stares of some of the newer brothers. Some look not as interested to get involved in the camaraderie of being part of a proper unit, a real upcoming fighting force, whereas another has a very odd grin, an almost disturbing grin. At least it would be disturbing if you didn't enjoy the fact that he was a stone cold killer and is already fitting in well. You decide that since it worked well last time, you'd open up the floor again to try and ensure that all the brothers have each other's backs and only plan to stab the people in front of them during combat. Outside of combat, on the other hand, you think might be a bit more dubious. You first look to Bertolt. As Bertolt tells it, he was an orphan child in one of the northern settlements. His father drafted to fight in a noble war, never to return. His mother turned to brothel work to afford food for him and his siblings. And as he grew, he took a job as a simple butcher's apprentice. But one fearful night, a lordling of the town decided he did not need to pay his mother for her services. And when she protested, he struck her dead. And the following night, Bertolt learned that butchering men was not so different than animals. Well, it depends on the man, but everyone eventually bleeds the same. Show that cleaving might with us, Bertolt, and you'll be right at home, you bellow. In your periphery, you can see Knight Rider nodding to your response, but his eyes do not show an emotional res an emotional response. Not that you care all that much, as long as the man can fight, and so far he kept his end of the bargain. But Knight Rider is a different kind to Bertolt. Knight Rider is just in it for the money, and he does not care how the work gets done as long as he gets paid. He does not like it when people get in his way, and as he states, he has been known to have quite a temper and knock a few heads off. But at the end of the day, if he gets paid, he's happy, especially if he gets to destroy Greenskins in the process, the very thing that took away his daughter. In her name, he is doing all this for. Well, remind me not to piss you off on a late period here, then, you retort. And then there's you. 
You've been grinning this entire time. You lock eyes with the new resident slinger of the wankers, now empowered with a new trusted and hardened southern sling. You watch as he tests its durability, pokes, prods, and generally does what he can to make it a more efficient killing weapon. Killing efficiency, you think? That's the sort of thing we need on raids. Kill him and kill him dead, but also kill him fast. You look to this frankly massive bastard of a man, and before you could speak, he starts off by himself, wants to take the lead and be in charge of this conversation. Fair enough, you consider. Whatever makes him feel strong and prepared to pounce of peons. Krozak was always a cruel child, and throwing stones came naturally to him as if it was the best way to kill rats and birds and sometimes a neighbor's cats. One day his village was raided by barbarians and instead of fleeing in desperation, he looked on in awe of the barbaric slaughter of his townsfolk. Krozak says that he never really fit into living in a normal population after this and always took to a more lonely profession, hunting, poaching, what have you, but always thinking always thinking about the natural pull of raiding and pillaging and just causing people harm in general. So when the call came to join the wankers, he gladly answered, and his new life as a northern raider had begun. Dreams of becoming a raider, eh? I imagine every battlefield you walk onto feels like a dream made manifest. Just be sure to remember who your enemy is. If you can't wait till then, I'm sure there's some rodents around camp that need some bashing in. You stay off the cuff. As soon as you mention this, though, Krozak is almost rearing to go, collecting stones as he surveys the area surrounded by your tents. Each to their own, you think? Whilst these men have different reasons for being here, they'll still be an asset to the wankers in life, and possibly in death. Now, the warband is growing. With that, let's go find us something to raid for the, just to sort of see us off for this episode. Oh, you mean that bread that we stole from that farm and we sort of wasted, but they'll never know? That's a shame. Okay, so we're on right now then. 591. So we're only 160 off. Well, how are we in terms of these relations? So Gota is threatening. Maybe I just sort of sack these off for a bit. Maybe I just focus on House Thray. Just don't like the sound of them. They just sound familiar, if you know what I mean. Let's go, uh, let's go annoy Neufarn. Let's see if they've got any trading caravans coming out of theirs. Well, I had to walk a bit past Neufarn, but I have found one coming from Swarsbrook, which I assume is another one of their crappy places. Oh yeah, it's a swampy place. I don't think anyone's gonna miss these six people and a donkey. Let's get raiding. Ah, eh, what, seven people? Or six and a donkey? Oh, they're coming straight for us. All right, they're approaching us. Let's see how everybody does, especially the new people. Especially Bertolt and Knight Rider. Caspian, your health still isn't fantastic. Krozak, let's see that new sling in action. Let's see that new sling in action. Damn! Rock. Time to rock. And roll. Hell. Hmm. Fire? Not quite. Well, there goes one. Move up slightly. You just stay there. You can just be the dog holder for this fight, because I'm a little bit worried about your health, to be quite honest. Not health the band. That'd be great, though. Hmm. It's almost like one of their guys getting shot down like that kind of made them pause the forts. alley -oop. It was worth a try. Hey, guys, if you don't come and approach me soon, I'm just going to shoot you to death. You have one option, and that's charge me. Or run away, I guess, but... Uh... Okay, they're going to charge slightly. But not that much. All right, screw it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 36% spoiling me. Okay, 69 miss. 62 miss. You know what? Let's go adrenaline. Let's just... Bloody hell, that took a bit of hitting, doesn't it? Oh, no. They baited us this entire time. Not quite. Can't you get up here and... Hell yeah, you can. Alright, 67, Bertolt. Again? He's practically dead. Man, slings. Sayonara to you. Right, you're gone. Fine. But you know what? Let's just bring him out anyway. That's another kill for Fenrir. Jeez. Oh, that's a kill for Knight Rider. Fabulous work. Eh. It's a living. Not for them. You can't get enough, can you, boy? I really need to get some dog armor. 
that'd be great. You bleed now, but you're used to it. You're a butcher. You know, you know what it's like to see blood. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Right, well, that wasn't too bad. Close, but no cigar. See ya. Seal the deal. Thank you very much. Man, we are just a bunch of... I'm loving it. I'm loving the raiding. And we got another level up. And I think I, I think you already had a perk to use. I was just sort of holding off for the time being. Hey, I'll take all these peat bricks. These? These are all mine now. Oh, 45 inventory space. The capacity has grown. I didn't even think about that. Okay, great. Well, I mean, we've got one in one out of four. We've got three more caravans to raid. We're full capacity at the moment, but it will go up shortly. I mean, by the time we've raided all these three places and probably fought, like, a brigand militia, I would assume, this will probably go up to the next one, which I think will be ten. So we'll definitely see some more brothers in the next episode, but we are going to start in hostile territory in House Frey at the start of the next episode. Let's do the real call very quickly. So let's have a quick gander and see how everyone's perk trees and kills are going. So Aureldus, you are on 26 kills. That is crazy. Ragnar, you're on 21 kills. You're almost at level 6 already. Bertolt, you're on 3 kills. And welcome to the team. This is your perk list. There are many like it, but this one is yours. I do still have one in the tank to give, but I won't spend it until next time, just so you can have an idea of what that looks like. Caspian, you're almost level 6 as well, and you have 21 kills. Looking pretty good, and now you're immune to stun, which is very decent. Knight Rider, also welcome to the team. This is your perk list. I am going to make it so you will be a two-hander at some point because this is going to fly up very, very, very quickly. And this should sort of match to an extent as well, which is pretty damn decent. And what's that? Two kills for you as well. Krozak, you've got one kill. Not a bad start. You've got the Slinger Spins and Dodge, so just to make this a little bit better. You've got 61 in range already, which is already a pretty good start for level Three. So I see you going pretty well. Once again, I will try and kick drunk it out of you. I know the 10% damage is decent, but I'd rather that be 71 than 61 right now, if you know what I mean. So we'll get there eventually. And then Wayne, you're on 16. There's your perk tree. Keep it up, buddy. And also, I suppose you've taken over as our resident pack mule to an extent. I need to get more of these bags for everyone, more than anything. And Hilladar, you know what? I'm gonna level. I'm gonna level you up faster here. Damn. Damn. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a plus four, because I, I do know you want to be a bit of a bow sergeant, at least, which is why I've given you rally. But I can now also give you bow mastery already. Goddamn. And you're on 15 kills. So uh, I'd say this is going pretty well. But I am going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed this episode, as always, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. As I'm sure there is more in there that you'll enjoy, feel free to catch up with the Knob and the Chode series, which are set in the same Battle Brothers universe as this Wankers series in the Legends mod on Legendary Location. If you enjoyed it this much, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know the next time we are going out with the Wankers. And also feel free to get as involved as you can and feel free to submit your own character ideas to join this Northern Raiders group. But the way you can do that is either leaving a comment down below or feel free to join the Discord, which is linked in the description below and on the channel itself and drop your ideas in there. Or just join the Discord in general and come talk to us jolly Northerners. We are getting bigger and girthier every single day. Day. And if you'd like to further support North even further, feel free to buy us a cuppa on coffee as it does help me give me the caffeine to get through my editing process. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the Wankers.